Hello, dear friends, and thank you for popping by. My name is Julia, and today we are creating an art journal page. My friend Linda sent me many things from her stash, and I'm using some dilution stamp sets as inspiration, along with inks and paints from dilutions. I have seen many new subscribers the last few weeks and I am thankful for every single one of you who are watching. Now, let's get into it. I'm stamping some flowers and a girl's head and feet in archival black suit and I stamp a couple of times to get a good impression on watercolor paper. And off camera, I will stamp lots of those flowers to give me options. To color these images, I will use Dilution's inks, and I have Pure Sunshine, Tangerine Dream, Rose Quartz, Funky Fuchsia, and finally Bubblegum Pink and Slate Grey. The stripes on the stockings are colored with Tangerine Dream and the rest of the stripes in Funky Fuchsia before I color her shoes in Pomegranate Seeds and Pure Sunshine. I paint in the flower petals on her hat in Tangerine Dream and in the middle Pure Sunshine. I paint in the ears in Funky Fuchsia and also the color on her neck. Then I bring out bubblegum pink and spray that on my glass mat before I pick up the color with a regular brush and paint in the space between the flowers on her hat. I have some inks in brush pens and some I will spray on my surface and pick up with a regular brush. I decided to go with grey for her hair and eyebrows. So I spray slate grey on my surface and fill in her hair and eyebrows. And for her lips I used pomegranate seed and funky fuchsia. For the upper petals on this flower I used pure sunshine and for some shadow I used tangerine dream. For the other small petals I used rose quartz and bubblegum pink to make shadows. I paint in the middle flower in pure sunshine and I use tangerine dreams to give it some depth. The flowers on the sides are colored with bubblegum pink and I use funky fuchsia to give them some shading. Next up is the polka dot flower and I paint in the inner petals with bubblegum pink and I use funky fuchsia to add a little shading. The polka dot petals are colored in pure sunshine and shaded again with tangerine dreams. I just love how these inks blend and make it easy to add shade and then blend it out with a lighter color. For this star flower I use the same colors, the lighter first, and then I add a little shading on one side of each stripe. The first batch of flowers are colored, so let's move on to the background. I have a page of Dilution's cardstock, and I hope you will forgive the camera not catching the whole page. I don't love the technical part of videos at all. I spray with water and I will use inks in black marble, slate grey and bubblegum pink. I spray my inks and let the water and inks move by moving my paper until I'm happy. Then I fill in with more ink and let it move and drip. While my background is drying, I move on to the flowers, but this time I will color them in slate grey and black marble to match the darker side of this page. 
I color the flowers in slate gray and use black marble to create shadow. And since these inks are translucent, you will still see the beautiful patterns and details. I spray my inks on my surface and use a cheap watercolor brush to color. And while I color, I want to thank you all again for watching, both old and new friends. I hope you all feel welcome, and if you have the time, I would love if you wrote a comment telling me who you are and what you would like to see in the future. So, I have this idea. I want a half page to close like a door over the other page. So I use my dilutions ruler and a pencil to mark where I will cut with my scissors. This half page with that beautiful curved edge is just how I want it. But I need color and this time you can see the whole page when I spray. I spray with water and I'm using the Illusions ink in Pure Sunshine Tangerine Dreams and Bubblegum Pink. And I tilt the paper to make the colors move and drip. I do the same for the other side of my door but I use slate grey, black marble and a tad of Tangerine Dreams to keep everything matching. If you can believe it, I need to color more flowers and this time to add interest I use shimmer paint in bubblegum pink along with my brushes with ink. I add water to make the shimmer paint more translucent and use funky fuchsia to add shading to the shimmer paint. I have colored more flowers and I can now go back to my dry door and I'm going to use this washi tape to act as a hinge but I don't trust it to stay in place so I use multi matte medium and I brush it on carefully where I want my tape hinge and then I add the tape and snip off the excess and I do the same on the other side. When I have my door secured, I want to color the tape so it matches with my other colors. I use shimmer paint in black marble and bubblegum pink. I water them down and put the color on the tape totally random. As you know with me, there is no method to the madness. Now, let's indulge in some details, and for that I use this dilution stencil and a pencil to follow the pattern of the stencil all over my door. Then I use my blade and I cut out all the flower shapes I did with my stencil and my pencil. And don't worry, you won't have to see all the cuts just a small part and by the magic of editing I'm done with the cutting. My door is beautiful as it is but I cannot help myself and I bring out my black Posca pen and trace around the floral pattern and I am not neat or careful. I just trace and if I do a mistake I just don't care at all. When I have traced the pattern on one side I pull out my white gel pen and trace the pattern again on the other side and I am neither careful or neat. I am on a roll and I bring out more stencils and shimmer paint in black marble and bubblegum pink. Both stencils are from Dilutions and I start with the drop stencil and black marble shimmer paint and I stencil in drops randomly, but only over the black and grey. And while I have the black shimmer paint out, I use it to go around the edges of the whole project to bring everything together. Then I use a skull stencil, a favorite of mine, and stencil bubblegum pink shimmer paint 
through the stucal stencil, but only on the pink in the background. We are getting closer to finish this project, and here are all the flowers I painted in both pink, orange and yellow, and the grey and black flowers. I start gluing my flowers down onto the background and I keep the colourful flowers to the one side and corner. I fill up the corner and let the flowers climb up the side. I do the same with the grey and black flowers. I let them fill up the opposite corner and climb up the side and letting them meet where my door closes right in the middle of the page. I put one of my pink leaves on the edge of the door and put a black leaf on the other side. They don't match perfectly, but I use more paint and ink to color in the back side of the leaves so I have the leaves on both sides hanging off the edge. And I do the same with a flower of both colors next to the leaves so I have a cluster hanging off my door. Then I use my scissors to snip off any flowers hanging off the page. It's now time for the focal point and I chose one of my favorite colored flowers and I glue it down first in the middle. Then I take out that gorgeous head I colored in the beginning and I glue her down so the flower are her neck and shoulders. Then I take another flower with polka dots and flip it to be the lower part of her body and at the same time I glue down those legs so they come out from that flower skirt. To make her stand out on that busy busy page I use my black Posca pen to go around my flower girl and use that black to make her pop. I add a few more flowers and snip off the excess and now it's time for me to start working on a sentiment. I decide to add one more texture by using Ranger's black glitter embossing powder and finding a sentiment is easy because my dear friend Linda sent me a stamp set with Dilution's snarky comments. I stamp in versifying onyx black ink and cover it with that glitter powder and use my heat tool to melt it. Then I cut it up in strips and go around the edges with a black marker. I stamp again on cardstock that is black on one side and white on the other. I glue down the sentiment hanging off the edge of the door and I use those black strips to cover the white so it looks good when you open and when you close the door. And now these mixed media art journaling pages are finished. Thank you so much for following me on this journey to create something interesting and beautiful. I hope you will stop by soon again. Until the next time, see you soon.